that we're going to create right now. So here I'm going to create a page, send.php. I will open my edit. Okay, I already have it here. I will copy everything from here. I will paste it out here. On the top, I will remove this page. And here on the bottom, I'm going to re remove everything. Okay, so refresh this page. Now it works fine. Now, what we have to do is we have to, you know, list all the users we have inside our users table so that later we can select uh, like we can select the users to whom we want to send the newsletter and to whom we don't want to send the newsletters that would be going to do right now out here I'm going to create a table or first create a dev let it say list users out here I'm going to create a table table width would be 100 percent and there would be a TR, then the TH would be say name, or the next TH would be. Um, I don't. I don't think we actually need the table. We can do it without a table. I believe so. Yeah, we can. So I don't think we need any table. Or yeah, we can keep this particular dev list users out here. And uh, I'm gonna open this tile sheet first. On the very bottom, I'm going to say ID list users should have a width to 960 pixels and a margin to auto and a padding to 10 pixels. Okay, and uh, uh, where is our send.php? Okay, guys. Uh, here we're gonna call a different file from our scripts folder. I'm gonna say PHP include wants list users dot PHP. Okay, and it would be inside the scripts folder. So what we would be doing is we would be getting everything from our database to this page, which says list users, and we would be showing it to our send.php in order to keep this particular page neat and clean. Okay, again go back to the scripts folder, create a new page, name it to list users.php and out here I'm gonna open the PHP tags. Again I will include the connection file from the top. okay and here I'm gonna say dollar ID will be equal to dollar get ID the reason we are doing this is in order to make sure which particular newsletter to send let's say if you have 30 newsletters then we are, we are not gonna send 30 newsletters to all of our users we're gonna make sure which particular newsletter you want to send from this ID and then we will grab the data against this ID and we will send it in the mail so we can keep it uh, out here then I can say dollar SQL my SQL query select all from users mm, where's our users okay not the users from guestbook I'm sorry select all from guestbook select all from guestbook where status is equals to one okay because if it's equals to zero that means they are not subscribed or they have unsubscribed so we don't want to send to those users who have already unsubscribed we only want to send to those who are subscribed where status is equal to one and then i can say order by id these can get the latest one first but die my SQL error. Then I'm gonna say dollar row will be equals to my SQL fetch array dollar SQL 
and this will be inside the wall statement because we want to grab every single one here I can say extract dollar row and guys make this particular one to get ID and then I can say hmm, I can create some input tags echo input type uh, checkbox here we're gonna send the email so I can say name would be equals to email the value will be equals to that person's email so that would be dollar email okay out here I can say dollar email that's fine and uh, then we need as uh, a hidden field to get their name so I can say input type hidden the name would be equals to name the value would be equals to dollar name so the email would be equals to this and the name would be equals to this and we need one more hidden field that would be their ID so input type hidden name would be equals to unsubscribe unsubscribe so we would be sending their ID in the email anytime they want to unsubscribe they can just click a link and they can easily unsubscribe from our newsletters okay out here I would be getting their ID I believe that's good we have to add some more thing but for now just go ahead and test it whether it's working fine or not so here okay it says zombie at the rate okay so it's getting everything and guys we can have a break tab out here let's say no I can say a break tab that that looks fine okay so we are getting all the emails and with those emails we have the select option so if I want to select this I can select this if I want to deselect anything I can do it but uh, one more thing we have to add is we will have to give them like we have to give all of them some numbers how we have to do is I'm gonna say here email count will be equals to zero then dollar name count will be equals to zero and dollar unsubscribe count will be equals to zero as well I will show you guys why I'm doing this and out here I can say email dollar email count okay this one will have dollar name count and this one will have after unsubscribe it will have dollar unsus unsubscribe count subscribe count okay go ahead refresh the page if you have the firebug you can use it in order to see what it's doing for us okay so out here this one says email zero okay come to the bottom uh, okay one more thing I'm missing that would be plus plus every time plus F by one okay refresh it come here the first one says name equals to zero second one says name equals to one third one says name equals to two so now all of these have different names okay later the page like the script we're gonna write in order to send the emails we can actually make a check how many post requests we are getting and according to that we can send the emails it might seem complicated to you guys but don't worry once we would be writing that particular send script it will look damn easy so th this way we are actually able to get everything from the database then we have to create a button out here I can say echo input type submit name would be equal to send and the value would be equal to send as well 
and we can get everything inside the form. So on the top, I can say echo form. The method would be post. The action would be mm, uh, I can say send now dot php. What was that? Okay, and we can close our form on here on the bottom. Okay, a semicolon and a semicolon here. So now everything is inside the form. In the next video, we're going to write the script in order to send it to the users. And we would be downloading our SMTP server because if you are aware, you cannot send any emails from your local host. You need to have an SMTP server. So we would be downloading it. We would be configuring it in order to send the emails. And we would be writing our final script to send the email. So see you guys next time. Bye-bye.